Hey everyone, it's Lisa with The Pressure's On. Um, tonight we're going to do a true Sunday dinner and make a roast out of a boneless beef chuck. Um, it's going to have baby red potatoes, it's going to have baby carrots in it, and I'm either going to attempt to make a gravy with the drippings at the end. Um, once I am done with the video, I will post the recipe that I use in the comments, uh, the description, so make sure you check that out. Hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I used my Instant Pot to make macaroni and cheese, which I believe is on my, um, is on my recipe. So, let's get going. Alright, so the first thing we always do is plug her in. And next, we're going to go ahead and turn this on saute. Alright, so we're going to put a little bit of oil on the bottom while it heats up. Because we're going to sear each side of this piece of meat um, for about four to five minutes each side before we go ahead and cook it. So, we got about a two... 2.15 pound of roast here and I can hear it heating up so we're just gonna put her in there we're gonna season it with some salt So we've been going here for a few minutes on getting it seasoned. Go ahead and flip it over. That looks good. Season this side. And let that one go. All right, so now that that's pretty much done, we're gonna wanna go ahead and click the keep warm cancel button so it goes off. Take two cups of beef broth, pour it right on top. And let that sit there for right now. Now, while that was all cooking, I took a pound of baby carrots, a pound of red potatoes, and an onion, and quartered it up and put it into a Ziploc bag. And then, we're going to get some oil in there, about two tablespoons, and a bag of onion soup or dip mix. Toss that in there. If you guys have never used onion soup or dip mix for anything, it is a great, great season. And then go ahead and shake her out. See that? It's all shaking. All right, you don't have to do that very long. Then we're gonna go ahead, throw everything right on top. Let's go ahead and look, and that's what she looks like with everything in it. Get her moved around. And then go ahead and put this lid on. Our lid on. Right now we're showing in the venting position. We need to switch it back over to the ceiling position. We're going to come on down here. Your instant pot should be off at this point. And we're going to click meat and stew. 
But this one's going to go up to 70 minutes. We're just going to let it go. Let it do its thing. We're going to make sure it's on the normal setting and the high pressure. All right, so a couple things with this. You notice that this is going to take about 70 minutes to cook in the Instant Pot, which if you've made a roast before, um, most people will put theirs on all day long in the crock pot. So the 70 minutes, um, and then we'll do a 10 minute NPR or natural release, natural pressure release at the end is significantly a lot less time than letting it cook all day uh, in the crock pot. Uh, now, confession is my family and I usually don't like roasts uh, because they tend to be more on the dry side. So I'm really excited to try out the Instant Pot one because obviously with a pressure cooker, most things aren't too dry because they are cooked with, with pressure and they're steam cooked. So, um, and also, uh, many of you may have noticed that I finally have my... <coughs> Instant pot um, uh, wooden tray that my husband graciously helped me make so I don't always have to have it on top of the stove. Um, and uh, potentially ruin the heating elements in my stove. So, um, we will get back at you once uh, we're closer to the end. I can already hear everything bubbling up in there, so hopefully it's good. All right, so we've come to pressure three minutes ago, and we know that we've come to pressure because our spigot is, or floater, is flush with the top. Now we're gonna sit here and wait for 67 more minutes and then do a natural release for 10 minutes. Alright, so our 70 minutes is up, and now you can see that it's counting upward um, from zero on up, uh, which means that we are now doing our natural, our natural release. So once this gets to 10, uh, you can also see that there's nothing lit up here and nothing lit up here. We will go ahead and um, quick release the rest of the pressure in here. Okay, so our time has come up, and we're going to go ahead and natural or quick release the rest of this. Let's turn it sideways, because if you have it underneath a cabinet or anything, it will warp it if it's, um, if it's, too, if it's too much steam that comes out. I also have a rag ready, just in case there's a lot. So, there's our steam coming out. Throw that on top of there. In the meantime, we are going to go ahead and make a cornstarch slurry. We're going to take three tablespoons of cornstarch. with equal parts water. And then, go ahead and get it all, so right now it's all chunky, and get it all mixed up, and it'll turn out to be a smooth mixture. And then once we get our meat and our vegetables out of it, the instant pot. We'll go ahead, let the liquids come to a simmer and then add this and whisk it all together and let it kind of cook for about three to four minutes and see if it thickens up enough to be a gravy. All right, so our pen just dropped. I'm gonna go ahead and open. Check this out. 
That looks pretty good. Go ahead and start spooning all of this out of here. Let's see if we can't grab a piece of this, this meat here. So there's our our actual roast. Let's check the temperature on this. It's fully cooked. So go ahead and get all this off of here. So now we're going to start our gravy. This is all of the meat and potatoes and carrots and onions we got out of there. So we're going to go back over here. Move it from the keep warm cancel function to the saute function. And let that warm up and then start putting in our slurry. Which is right here. Let's see. Okay, so this has been heating up for a little bit. We're going to start adding the slurry a little bit at a time. And stir. Make sure it gets all combined. Get this to come to a boil and thicken up. You see, can you guys see that? And it's starting to boil. And it is starting to thicken up on me. You can go ahead and season this with some salt and pepper if you want to. However, I'm not going to because it should be quite seasoned with having the um, salt and pepper from the actual roast in there and the onion soup dip pack in it. You see that? Look at that. I'll let that happen for a couple of minutes. And go ahead and turn her off. Okay, so our gravy is done, and it looks awesome, and we're going to go ahead and spoon it over my, my dinner, and if you've never had baked asparagus with a prosciutto or a bacon wrap, it's yummy. Right, there you go. That's what she looks like. Y'all have a good night.